Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Anush, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How can I simplify the management of private certificate authorities? Digital certificates underpin identity and authentication for many network devices and services. Recently, we have seen increased interest in using certificates in DevOps and device management, particularly for IoT devices. But one of the most fundamental problems with certificates remains. It's hard to set, it, set up certificate authorities that issue certificates, and even harder to do it reliably at scale. To help, we introduce certificate authority service from Google Cloud which is a highly scalable and available service that simplifies and automates the management and deployment of privacy aids while meeting the needs of modern developers and applications. Let's take a look on how easy it is to set up a privacy aid with certificate authority service. From the console, go to security, then certificate authority service. If you haven't yet, enable the API now. Create a new CA. Here you can choose to create a root, or a subordinate CA. For a subordinate CA, you can choose to have the root CA hosted outside GCP. This is great if you want to continue using an existing root CA, perhaps hosted on-prem. Let's choose root CA. You can further customize how long the CA certificate is valid for. Let's keep the default at 10 years. We support two tiers for CAs, optimized for different use cases. DevOps tier is best for high volume usage patterns where certificates are short lived. For example, microservices certificates issued every 12 hours. In this mode, we don't support revocation as certificates are relatively short lived and will expire as quickly. Enterprise tier provides revocation support and is more suitable for low volume and longer lived certificates. In both cases, you still benefit from HSM for protecting CA's private keys. Let's pick enterprise tier for the root. Note that you can configure different CAs in the chain differently, meaning that a root can be enterprise tier, whereas a subordinate CA can be a DevOps tier. Next, choose a region. At GA, we will support all regions that Cloud HSM supports today. You can also see below that we have some pre-made uh, recommended templates to help you save time in CA creation. Next, configure the new CA, filling out the necessary fields. Let's pick an organization name and a common name. Keep security. The idea is a unique identifier for this resource inside Google Cloud and will be used by other services. Now we need a key for CA. You can customize the key algorithm and size here. Let's pick an RSA 4K key. Note that all these keys will be generated using Cloud HSM. You can option use an existing Cloud KMS key for CA service by picking Customer Manage Key. Now on to revocation. For when we need to tell clients to no longer trust certificates, we use certificate revocation list or CRIL to communicate this. By default, Certificate revocation lists are enabled. We automatically create a GCS bucket for you. You can also use your existing GCS bucket that you created before. Below, you can also decide to enable Authority Information Access or AIA extension that enables chain validation code on a recipient device to navigate the full certificate chain to the root. Next, you can add a label to enable easy grouping of your cloud resources. One final review to finalize the details before you create. If it all looks good, then let's run with it. You'll now see the newly created CA under the CA Manager tab. Great, we've got our CA set up. Let's request a certificate. Choose the CA you want to use and click Request Certificate. There are two ways you can request a certificate. 
One is to provide a certificate signing request or CSR. In this case, you will need to use an existing tool like OpenSSL to create a private public key pair and then generate CSR before visiting this page. Alternatively, you can have the CS service generate both the private public key pair and the certificate for you. Let's try this. Certificate name uniquely identifies the certificate as a resource in the cloud. You don't need to change that. Let's pick a domain name. Foo.com. Pick the server TLS as the extended key usage. Here you can customize what signing algorithm uh, to use. Let's pick the default. Now you can download the private key and certificate and use it in your application. As simple as that. You can see all certificates issued by your CA under Issued Certificate tab. Click on the dots to download any certificate or for inspection or use, including revocation. Congratulations. You have created a new CA and got a new certificate in minutes, much faster than days or weeks it used to take to host it yourself. Thank you for watching. Please visit cloud.google.com security to learn more.